Dave and Kate, talk to me about how this began for you all. Um, how did you hear about the story initially, and how did it become a piece of work that you wanted to, a, a story that you wanted to tell? Uh, before I say, there's a line. There's a line in the film when when Sharon, you and Shantae are standing at the grave, and you say, you're talking to Sandy, you go, they didn't know whose you were. Mm -hmm. when they, you know what I mean? We didn't know whose you were either when the story broke. I knew that she was um, an African-American woman who had been very wrongfully arrested, beaten up by the police, and died under extremely, extremely mysterious circumstances. And it was sweeping the country with speculation as to what was going on. And HBO uh, called us up. And we've been making civil rights documentary films pretty much our whole lives. And those are, these are the issues that really get us motivated to go through the years it takes to make a film. And um, they said, would you like to do them in film? And I'm like, yeah, but you know, we're two white people on the East Coast. This is a Chicago-based story. The family's all black. Really? Are they really going to? And uh, I, I called Cannon about 10 times. And uh, I gave up. And then you called me back. And we met. And But what I to circle back to what I said about we didn't know whose you were, when I met you, and I met Canada, and I met your mom and your sister, and I started to learn about Sandy. And I, then I came to you guys, and I remember just saying, like, I, I have to, I, I really, really care about this story. And, and it's, it's it, you guys are so, you, got, you guys are such extremely articulate, thoughtful people who care about other people so much. And it wasn't about publicity, and it wasn't about sensei. It wasn't about anything except just getting the truth out. And you let us follow your story wherever it went. And the only, the, only, the only proviso that these guys put on us, you were so open about it. Cannon just looked at me, and he's, he and I have gotten to be really close. But he's really scary. <laughs> when He's really scary, and especially if you're, you know, this is the AME church, and there's bodyguards outside, and I'm this, the whitest thing within a mile or two, and I'm walking in saying, I want to tell your story. And he looked at me, and, you know, I was, like, terrified. And, and you, you said, I, go, I have one question. If we can't definitively prove that Sander was murdered, you know, are you out of here, or is, or is there a movie? And and I said, yeah, you know, without a doubt, she was lynched by the system. And whether you can prove someone went in there and killed her with their bare hands, or whether some crazy road cop brought her down and beat her up by the roadside and they wrongly imprisoned her and and psychologically put her in a place where she took her own life, it doesn't change the tragedy of her loss at the hands of a system that fundamentally was imbued with, with, with racism, conscious or unconscious. And so, yeah, so we were, we were in, and it's three years later, and here we are. Sorry, long answer. <laughs> um, for me, what I didn't expect, and of course, one of the deep and challenging and mysterious parts of filmmaking is that you, you sort of go peel back the layers of the onion and find ever more meaning in whatever you're doing. And I didn't know that Sandy would be such a strong, present voice in the film, um, thanks to her video blogs on so many topics. My, I wish I could have, we could have included much more. Um, and so she became, in a sense, my guide in terms of the themes of the film. So I would say that that grew as a further um, motivation to ma to make this you know as full a portrait of her as we could, you know, um, speaking to unity, speaking to, you know, even even trying to, you know, talk to people who you see are doing something wrong. Stand up to them. Now is your time to educate them. I mean, she said things that were really brave and ahead of her time in many ways. You know, trying to really break down the polarization of this world.